Hey, what it do, world? You know the vibes. It's your boy, Seven City Dale, and you are now tuned into Ears to the Streets. But before we get into any of that news, if you would do two things for me, and that's like and subscribe to this channel, I'm going to provide you with the best news so you can tell your friends you heard it first on Ears to the Streets. So go hit that like and subscribe. You know the vibes. Okay, today I'd like to start off by first of all saying RIP to that boy Chico Juan. He is a Meek Mill affiliate. He was supposedly doing deals with Meek Mill, did a couple of them, you know what I'm saying? Got him a bag or got each other a bag, basically. But he also known from loving hip hop and fucking with Tommy Lee. But allegedly, Chico was killed by Ty Music. Now, I got the video I'm about to show for y'all where he explaining the whole fucking thing, and this shit is kind of hilarious, though. The reason why, because he sound like another fucking Soldier Boy Jr., man. Y'all got to watch this nigga talking, man. This shit is crazy, man. Like, the way he explaining his story sounds just like the Soldier Boy story, man. One nigga run to the front door. I hop out, I start shooting. Shot the nigga. Bow. Shot his ass. Bow, 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 bow. All the niggas run out the door. They run out the door. This nigga on the floor. R.P. Chico, though. No funny shit, but this dude is hilarious. But check out the video. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. You know the vibes. Gone. So, Ty Music checking in, you feel me? <clears throat> I want everybody to know, you know what I'm saying, before I start this, my prayers go out to Chico Juan and his family. My prayers also go out to Tommy. Prayers go out to Meek Mill, Zoe Dollar, you feel me? At the end of the day, it's a lot going on in the streets one answer, so I got to give it to him. I want to introduce myself. I'm Ty Music, an independent artist for one. No, I'm not trying to gain clout. Only reason why that was tagged in Meek Mill and Zoe, because I've been doing my research and I just found out what type of dude this was. So at the end of the day, this is how it all went down. It started Wednesday. I hit my partner C up about maybe six o'clock. I'm like, what's going on, man? I'm like, bro, what's up? Where you at? He like, dang, bro. He like, shoot, I've been calling you all day. He like, shoot, I've been at the crib. I'm at my baby mama house. Pull up. Okay, so I pull up on him, you feel me? Once I pull up, I go upstairs, I go, you know what I'm saying? His baby mama answer the door, you feel me? We go in, we all kicking it. I see Chico laying on the couch. I see Chico right beside my boy C Money. So C Money right there, you feel what I'm saying? And then it's me, C Money, and his baby mama. So I dab Chico up, I dab my boy C up, you feel me? And I'm speaking. So at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, cool. So he like, dang, he ain't like, you ain't bring no blunts. I'm like, nah, bro. He like, but shit, I can go get some. So I, he like, shit, okay, bet. And I said, shit, y'all want something from the store? He was like, shit, bro, hell yeah. I was like, he like, just bring me back. He like, just bring back a snicker or whatever. So about seven minutes later, I came back. Now, we all in the room, you feel me? Niggas rolling up, watching Love and Hip Hop, kicking shit, you feel what I'm saying? First and foremost, I never knew Chico Juan. Let's get this understood. I never knew who this dude was. Never seen him a day in my life. You feel what I'm saying? Never knew. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. I'm like, bro, he, I, 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 um, he, my boy C was talking about the gay. He like, bro, you know, we've been smoking on this gay, bro. This shit got down called Sit Hunter. I like, oh, hell yeah, whatever. You feel me? So we rocking. So I'm, I'm telling Chico, I'm like, what's going on, bro? I said, shit, I'm about to play my single. Um, let me know if you fuck with it. You feel me? And that's when Chico took his phone out and he had his phone in his hand. Now, I didn't even know that he zoomed in on me or none of that. You feel me? I didn't even know that he was talking towards me. I was so much in tune into my phone. I didn't um, I, I didn't understand what was going on. You feel me? Because if anybody know me, everybody who know me, Ty going to keep that shit real. Ty about his music and his money. You feel me? I ain't on no bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, 
That's when I seen that he posted up and C was like, dang, bro, post you up, but he ain't even tag you. He said, look how many followers you have. So I like, oh, I said, oh, damn, bro, you must be goddamn, you know, like, you must be known or some shit. So he was like, hey, yeah. He was like, shit. So uh, he told C, he like, shit, I'm just vibing with Holmes. You feel what I'm saying? He cool. You feel me? Let me let me see how Holmes, you know what I'm saying, kicking. So at the end of the day, you feel me? At the end of the day, Chico get a phone call. She go get a phone call on his phone, you feel me? It's a FaceTime. So he FaceTiming. Okay, so he show C. Now C like, okay, shit. At the end of the day, it was his mama, you feel me? His mama, his daddy, or whatever. You feel me? So C was like, he was waving, he was like, hey, or whatever, like that. Now when Chico took the phone back, you feel me? Chico took the phone back and slid the phone in his pocket. Chico then stood up and said, it's bad voodoo in the L. When Chico said bad voodoo in the L, Chico just started shooting. He shot C first. He shot C in the stomach. And he shot him in the leg. You feel me? Then he hit me four times. You feel me? I got four bullet holes in me. And if y'all think I'm lying, I'm going to show you. That's a bullet hole right there. That bullet's still in my leg. You feel me? I got a bullet hole in my shoulder right here. You feel me? The bullet's still in there. I got hit right here on my side. You feel me? He hit me right here on my chest. Them folks had to put a tube in me. You feel me? I had a collapsed lung and everything. I then got shot in my back. You feel me? I even got one in my back. I got hit four times. You feel me? Four times I got hit. Now, let me ask y'all one question. At what given time, if you just in the room, you feel me, and all of a sudden, a nigga jump out of nowhere and say bad voodoo in the air and just start shooting. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I ain't know what the fuck was going on. You feel what I'm saying? And it was like the bullets. You feel me? I didn't even feel what I got hit. All I knew was I was on the ground leaking. Chico then was walking over there towards me. When Chico was walking towards me, I was playing like I was dead for real. When and, and, and Chico, he had the gun, but the, it, it was no more bullets in the gun. Now, just think about it. We got hit with a 380, so it was only six bullets. You feel me? So he hit C2, and he hit me four. You feel me? So at the end of the day, like, I'm, I'm damn not about to die. You feel what I'm saying? What can you do? What can you do? Am I supposed to sit here and let this man kill me? You feel me? Oh, I got to protect myself. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, this is what happened. So, hey, man. My man, my boy Huncho, man, what the fuck going on, man? Hey, when I'm done with this shit, man, I'm a, I'm a, you feel me? Whoever want to talk to me, free to talk. But I got to get this out. And y'all got to give me a minute because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I damn that can't breathe right, you feel me? These folk, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, my lungs ain't all the way right. I got to collapse along and everything. I got to work this on my breathing. I can't even walk straight, you feel me? I got a crush. I've been in the hospital. I was in the hospital for eight days. I was in CIU for three days, you feel me? So at the end of the day... Once Chico started walking towards me, you feel me? That's when I took my strap out my pocket. I had a 380, you feel me? I took my strap out and I caught it back. And when Chico saw me, that's when I shot him. Boom, you feel me? When I shot Chico, you feel me? He did just like this. And then I had got him like, fuck. Then I got up and I shot again. Boom. That's when Chico started running. When Chico ran to the door, I did shot at the door. Boom. So then when Chico opened the door, he, he was straggling to try to get out the door. When Chico got out the door, you feel me? I ran out. With, like Chico, he was outside. He was like running down the steps. And I'm like at the top. Then I shot again. Boom. So Chico ran somewhere. He went into the dark. You feel me? I ran to my car. You feel me? I got in my car, started my shit up, pulled out, drove all the way up to the front entrance of the apartment, flagged. It was a lady coming through the gate. I damn near flagged her. I'm like, look, please, man, I've been shot to death. I said, I think I'm about to die. I said, call the police. You feel what I'm saying? So they called. I'm up here breathing. You feel me? Touch my back. I'm leaking blood, you feel me? I'm damn near palpitating. I'm trying to breathe. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to breathe. You feel me? Like, this shit fucked up, like... Wrong place, wrong time type shit. Now, everybody pointing fingers, thinking that we robbed this man for his Rolex, for his jewelry. Let me tell y'all something. Man, 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 look, man. The man Chico ain't have not on one piece of jewelry over there. And it was told, you feel what I'm saying, by the detective, that the same night that Chico died, his family flew all the way up here. And they went to my boy C. Mama house and got all his jewelry, you feel me? So C. Mama had all his jewelry. Man, they got all his jewelry. We ain't robbed him, you feel me? I'm not no robber, you feel me? I don't do none of that. I'm a real nigga, you feel me? And I kick my shit. Anybody know me know I keep it a hundred. You feel what I'm saying? I got a word.
C would have been dead. It was a newborn in in, 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 in their room. You feel me? His baby girl would have been dead. His baby mama, two boys, they would have been dead. You feel what I'm saying? And at the time of being, y'all got to understand one thing, bro. When you in a situation, what can you do? Oh, so you think that you think that you just supposed to let somebody just shoot you and don't do nothing? You feel me? I mean, come on, man. Y'all got to really hear me out. You feel what I'm saying? I'm real as real. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't no fake, no flaw, no none of that in me. You feel me? And I stand up. Everybody who hit me in my inbox, I told these folk what's going on. Everybody that say, yeah, we coming. I'm going to fuck you up. Oh, this, that, the third. Y'all making fake pages and doing all this. You feel what I'm saying? Come on, man. I'm too real for that. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I had to do what I had to do. And guess what? I feel so sympathy. You feel me? I cry day after day just thinking about this shit, knowing that you feel me. That what that what I did, you feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, what can you do when you getting shot? You feel me? Y'all gotta think about that. Now, why was Chico shoot why 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 would Chico shoot his own brother in law? You feel me? And when Chico stood up, he shot his brother first, you feel me? He shot C money, man. He shot my boy. And when he shot him, C was like, What you doing? Why you shooting me? Why you shooting me? That's what C said when he shot him. You feel me? It like bro just blanked out. He just said bad voodoo in there and just started shooting. You feel me? Ballistics don't lie. Science don't lie. The math, the the the, the everything came back. Everything came back. The detectives had me in a hospital bed. You feel me? I, it, it, it's two detectives. I got cameras on me. Lie detector, everything. You feel what I'm saying? They got my statement by myself. They got C statement by himself. They got his baby mama statement by herself. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand one thing. I never knew this dude a day of my life. You feel me? I, I, I just never knew. You feel me? Only thing I was going over there, I was going to go smoke with my boy, man, and kick shit. My boy said, we're going to smoke these two blunts and then I, and, and then I'm, I'm going to go to sleep tired because I'm tired because my boy is supposed to be going out of town on the 16th. You feel me? I'm going to tell it like how it is. So ain't no more hide, no none of that. You know feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, guess what? A nigga had to do what he had to do. And if that was y'all in that situation, y'all would have did the same thing. You feel what I'm saying? So I just wanted to let y'all know, you feel me, that no, nah, we ain't robbed him. Ain't none of that. So whoever got questions, hey man, hit my in I'm, I'm, I'm willing to talk to whoever right now. You feel me? If you, if, if, if you want to ask questions, hit me. You feel what I'm saying? Hit me. Cause I'm a hundred. I'm real. You feel what I'm saying? This ain't no fake shit. You feel me? This my life. And if it was cap, why would why would we be free right now? You feel me? Why would we be free? You feel me? That shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I just want to tell everybody, you feel what I'm saying? That yeah, I will be sending flowers to Chico and them family. I will be sending flowers to Tommy and them folks. You feel me? I try to reach out to Meek Mill and Zoe Dollar. You feel me? No hard feelings lost. But at the end of the day, what would you do in that situation? You feel what I'm saying? I had to, I had to defend myself. What would you do?